everybody, it's me again, and welcome to sequence 11 of Let's Replay Assassin's Creed 2. We just assassinated Marco, no, Silvio Barbarigo and his uh, lackey, Dante Moro. And there was a letter from Carlotta Moro, who I'm, I'm assuming was sp meant for Dante, um, who was <laughs> her husband, until Marco Barbarigo stabbed Dante in the head and gave him brain damage or whatever, and basically stole his wife. So I believe now is there's a big ten year there jump. Are, Why so Hello, sweet. Rosa. It's my birthday. Why so Davvero? serious? Cento di questi giorni. That's wonderful. Grazie. Easy. It's been over ten years since I watched my father and brothers die. Ten years hunting the men responsible. So close to the end now, but no closer to understanding what any of it was for. You may not see it, Ezio, but it's better here now because of the things you've done. Basta. Look here. I have a birthday present for you. It's L'Arsenale's shipping manifest. From the day the boat left. The boat to Cyprus? You're serious. And guess when it's scheduled to return? Tomorrow. Ezio. Leonardo! When did you get back? Hey, Just Leo! Now. I need to talk to you right away. <laughs> Go on. Have fun, boy. It's better be good. Oh, it is. <laughs> it is. Walk with me. Stay close. All right. I think this is when we first learned about the Peace of Eden. These last two codex pages. I was studying the copies. I don't know why I never saw it before. Leonardo. But when put together, I realize the markings on the back clarify into words. Here. The prophet will appear when the second piece is brought to the floating city. Prophet. Second piece. Only the prophet may open it. Two pieces the staff of and the apple. What are you saying? Ezio, what is this? We've known each other a long time, Leonardo. If I can't trust you, there is nobody. My uncle Mario spoke of it long ago. A prophecy hidden in the codex. Leading to an ancient vault that holds something very powerful. Very, indeed. Grandioso. But... If you took these pages from the Barbarigo, then maybe they know about this vault too. That's not good. No, it's not. Wait. What if that's why they sent the ship to Cyprus? To find this piece of Eden and bring it back to Venezia. When the way. second piece is brought to the floating city, the prophet will appear. Only the prophet can open the vault. My God! Mon Dieu. When my uncle told me about the Codex, I was too young, too brash to imagine it was anything but an old man's fantasy. But now I see. The killing of Mocenigo. Even the Medici. My father and brothers. It was all part of his plan. To find the vault. The Spaniard. The Spaniard. Rodrigo Borcha. Mm. The boat from Cyprus arrives tomorrow. It all comes together. I plan to be there to meet it. Good luck, my friend. Oh, I'll need it. Thank you, Leonardo. Give me a hug, buddy! <laughs> Sorry, I had to. Alright, anyway. um, I'm gonna read that letter from Carlotta now. I think. Carlotta, here we go. My love. Oh. I wonder if ever the day will come when these words might make sense to you once more. I am sorry for what I have done, and for what you and I have both become. Though we could not be together, just knowing you were near was enough. And now, with Marco dead, I may yet find a way for us to be joined again. But, do you even remember me? Or were the wounds too grave? Do my words stir, if not your memory, then your heart? It doesn't matter what they say. I know you're still in there, somewhere. I will find a way, my love, to remind you, to restore you. Love always, Carlotta. Wow, all oh, that hits in the feels. She never stopped loving him. Oh, that's so sweet and so sad. Oh, boy. I don't remember reading that ever. There was, oh my god. This is only my third or fourth playthrough ever of this game because there's no chapter replay so if I wanted to play the game I pretty much had to commit to playing it all the way through and I only ever did that three other times two or three other times before this Pezzo di Diota? 
piece of idiot? That doesn't make any sense. So, like, the first time I played through the first game, I didn't really understand the full concept of what open world meant. What the fuck? Is it up on the wall? I guess it is. How on earth do I get up there? You know, like, having side activities and being able to just wander around one big area to be able to do whatever you want. I didn't really know that at the time, and even when I was playing AC2, there was a lot of, like, symbols on the map. I didn't know what they meant, even though they were, like, a universal indicator throughout most video games. So, I was... <laughs> it's just kind of cool to be able to see how far... Like, how long I've been playing video games and how much of a difference it makes going back and playing old games, seeing how you would play things differently and notice things you wouldn't notice before. It's pretty cool. It's just, it's an awesome feeling. It's one of the reasons why I love video games. Thank you. Alright, now I believe Marker is over here somewhere. Look at my shadow over there. That's kind of cool. If I could zoom in on that, that'd be a pretty sweet cinematic shot. I, get down. Thank you. All right, I made it. Oh my god. Uncle Mario? You have no idea, it's you. Are they taking it? You know, that actually sort of confuses me because it's in the exact same container as the one from uh, Altair's, obviously. Of course, I mean, like, and we know that's obviously not the same apple that Altair had. How, of course, they did say this one was from Cyprus. My freaking... There we go. Um, so, and, I mean, in The Secret Crusade, and I think in Project Legacy as well, Altair goes to Cyprus and starts to another piece of Eden. So maybe that's this one. Maybe that's what I'm missing. I only read The Secret Crusade once and never actually played Project Legacy because that was, a, I think it was a PSN title or something like that. So, yeah. That's probably the apple Altair took from Cyprus. I don't remember where he hid that one particularly, if he ever did. But yeah. Yeah, he shows up yellow here. I'm doing something very fucking important, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah! Screw you. I am falling behind. I am so falling. No, 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 fall, please. Thank you. Fucking, fucking, fuck, fuck. Get on the beam. No. Get up. Is he looking at me? No, he's not. Oh my god. How the frick did he not see me? Oh shit, he's running. Oh crap, he's running. Keep up. Time to keep up. Duck through here. Infiltrate this group. Take the place of the courier. And lead me right to the Filio di Putana. Filio di Putana. I have 90 seconds. Well. All right, come on. I will kill all fresh water. Again. I love it when that happens. Uh, whoops. I hit the guide button on accident. Let's not go up on the roof this time around. Go ahead and use these ladies. Oh, you fucking guard. Why'd you have to come by? Still got two of them, though. Let's go right here. After you. Okay. No. No. Nope. No, not him! Nope. Nope. Oh nope. my god, 
God, you're fucking kidding me. Not fucking him. Got him! Oh my god, that was the clumsiest thing I've ever done in my entire fucking life. But Ezio just didn't want to cooperate. But it doesn't matter because I did it. Okay. Oh god. Alright, there we go. Pick up the box. <clears throat> yes, sir. This is a moment of great importance. Stay in formation. Make this right. See, Miss Eddie. All right, here we go. Assassinate the Spaniard. That really? Here we go. This is a very, very, very pivotal moment in the game. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, hello. Do not draw attention to myself. Well, how do I go about doing that? How do I know if I'm drawing attention to myself? I guess just don't run. Stay in formation. Wait, you telling me I could hire courtesans in this outfit? <laughs> I wonder if that would count as suspicious. Play it cool. Act casual. What is well. the matter with you, Throngs? Well, I'm not with you, Throngs. You only get so much patience from me before I don't go for the rest of the flock. Got one more. I really freaking hate it when they do that. They just follow you around, just <laughs> insulting you in their ear. I swear to god, the box carrying NPCs, even in the first game, they have like a magnet drawn to your character. So whenever they get close enough to you, they just immediately try to aim for you. I have the artifact in my hands. Is this it? Oh shit, there he is. Rodrigo Borja. Oh god. The Spaniard. Do you really have it? You were not followed. Not Absolutely. really. Everything went perfectly. We have followed your orders exactly as specified. The mission to He's Cyprus at me. was more difficult than expected. There were complications. But we have returned with the artifact and have carefully transported it to you as instructed. Oh, am I supposed to be doing something? Yeah. Generously compensated, as I'm sure you have already. Shut up! Hello. <laughs> Indeed, it has. Leave him to me. Did I not hit the button fast enough, or was that supposed to happen? So, where is he? Who? Your prophet. Doesn't look like anybody showed up, Rodrigo. How many people have died for these? For what's for in these? this box? And look, there's nobody here. It's just you and me, buddy pal. You claim not to be a believer, and yet here you are. Don't you see him? The prophet is already here. I am the prophet. Oh, now are give you? give me the apple. Do you fuck that? take it from me. Find me! I'm kind of scared, actually. Oh, that was that was a great first impression on me. Yeah, I really like your robes, though. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, this is actually another thing. Ah! Is that uh, when uh, Rogue was first announced and it showed sh the box art of Shay on the cover, and that debut trailer where he wore a hood, everyone's like. How is he a Templar when he still wears a hood? Well, what do you fucking see right here? You guys are stupid. Not to mention Silvio, Barbarigo, he wore a freaking hood. You guys are freaking idiots. Screw you. Ah! I can beat you with this. I can't, apparently. God. We just time this right. Come on. Oh! The hidden blade is ineffective! Okay, there we go. Woo! Come on. Ah! On guard! Touch it! Well, I know that. I'm not leaving. Next! Is this all you have? Where is the rest of your people? 
What, what people? people? You really have no idea, do you? He doesn't. Guards! He really doesn't. Guards! Guards! Oh god. Do I have a smoke bomb left by any chance? I do! A job! Excuse me, there's smoke here! Alright, well this is definitely interesting. I'm all covered in blood! Or is that just the... I don't even freaking know. Ow! Get out of here with your freaking hammer! I should have paused this episode a long time ago. I'm probably gonna end up splitting this into two or something. I don't freaking have any idea. Good God! I'm getting really sick of you being here. Just telling you that right now. Ow! Alright, I'll give you credit for that one. Hitting me while I'm distracted. Well done. You suck at life. Get out of here! Let me kill this guy! Jesus! I can counter Rodrigo, but I can't counter you. Was I? Oh shit. Volpe? Volpe! What are you doing here? We could very well ask you the same thing. We? Oui. Oui. Oh shit, hey. For hey, todo veo, Antonio. Antonio! Don't let Volpe leave with that box. Rodrigo sounds pissed. Avanti! I am confused. Oh, hello, sir. How are you? Now, you all shall die. Oh, absolutely. Oh, sorry, Uncle! Right behind you. <laughs> Stab me! Put the spear down! Oh shit. Yeah! No! You son of bitch! Well, you are right about that one. Dude. Oh yeah, I can think of no better way to spend my evening. <laughs> Just him. It's been a long time, Uncle. I am a different man. I am my own man. Oh God. Oh yo. Okay, well played. The brothers didn't need to die. I just killed them to make a point. Oh, you There's asshole. No mercy. Need to cross the you bitch! Son of a piece of ass! Pezzo di merda! Ouch. That was a low blow. <laughs> wow! Come on! Wow. Good thing I'm wearing a helmet. You're not, however. Come on, dude! Just freaking give up already! I almost said die, but I know you're not actually gonna die at this point. There we go! Fuck you! Hey, dude! This is for my father. Yeah, okay. That was very anticlimactic. He's gone, but we have what we came for. No. I need to go after him. Do you really now? Yes, he done pissed me off! For another reason, my son. Theodora! What? What are you all doing here? Perhaps the same thing you are, Ezio. Niccolo Machiavelli! I share your birthday. I came here to kill the Spaniard. I couldn't care less about your prophet. He never showed up. No? But you did. But you did. What? A prophet okay. was foretold. And unbeknownst to us, here you are. Perhaps all along, you were the one he sought. No, sir. Who are you? Niccolo di Bernardo de Machiavelli. I am an assassin, <gasps> trained in the ancient ways to safeguard mankind's evolution. Just like you, and each one of us here. You are all assassins? 
Yes. Paola. Volpe, it's true, Lipotein. We have all been guiding you for years, teaching you the skills you would need to join our ranks. I think it's time. It's we have a hell of a conspiracy. There is much to be done. Come, meet us here at sunset. Our initiation is finally coming. Yeah, I see, like, it's freaking... Everyone bitching about... These are the words spoken by I'll our I'll save my words until after this is done. lay at the heart of our creed. Where other men blindly follow the truth, remember, nothing, nothing is, is true. true. Where other men are limited by morality or law, remember, everything, everything is, is permitted. permitted. We work in the dark to serve the light. We are assassins. Nothing, Nothing is, is true. Everything is permitted. It is time, Kitsio. <sighs> In this modern age, we are not so literal as our ancestors, but our seal is no less permanent. Are you ready to join us? I, I am. am. This only hurts for a while, brother. Like so many things. Ah, we. Oui. Benvenuto, Ezio. You are one Benvenuto. of us. Benvenuto. Come. We have much to do. Imagine the ladies in the dress, uh... How did they not sink into the river? <laughs> but anyway, it's like all the people bitching about, like, in Assassin's Creed 3 when you don't become an official assassin until halfway through the game. This is well beyond halfway through the game, and we're not even an official assassin yet. Yet we were wearing the robes, just like Edward. So everyone can shut your goddamn fucking mouth. Anyway, where, which way, which way do I jump off at? Wait, why is my HUD up there? I just noticed I have a HUD and all my weapon stuff is back. Why, why? I have that shut off for a reason. There we go. Done. We are assassins! Woo! I believe that is sequence 11 complete now. And I'm probably gonna end up splitting that into two parts. Apple of Eden acquired. Oh man. I actually think the ending to the game is coming up real soon here. So uh, I hope you guys are enjoying my replay of Assassin's Creed 2. Like and favorite if you are, subscribe if you want to see more, and I will see you in my next video. Farewell, friends. Like ho, like ho.